Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, we got a new viral trend that's going on TikTok right now. Uh, it's new to the millennials, but it's really a, a um, eight old age old thing. That's what I meant to say. Uh, it's called cash stuffing. You know, right now it's going viral in TikTok. You know, talking about cash stuffing, finding better ways to budget, and things of that nature. Before we get into the video and, and talk about if the cash stuffing method works for us, uh, Alex, let's give a, get a breakdown. What what is the the purpose or motive operandi of cash stuffing? Cash stuffing, excuse me. So. This is the first time I'm here about it, so I'm not going to talk about it like I'm a pro, but I've seen other and similar methods to this one, and it looks like it's just a way for people without financial discipline to specifically have money towards specific things on a regular monthly basis. And, and you know, I had to sound like an expert because that's exactly what it is. Um, what it is is they're, instead of, you know, you budgeting, you know, using a spreadsheet, you know, and then you just allocating your money according to the spreadsheet to where it goes. What they are having people do in this cash stuffing method is you get your paycheck, you withdraw the money out of your bank account with of the you know of your budget, and then you allocate the physical dollars into each envelope for you know rent, mortgage, car payments, paying off debt, groceries, child care, and what have you, and then. Once that money runs out and you're paying in physical dollars, once that money runs out, then you have no more money for that budget. And it's just a way to, like you said, it's for people that don't have financial discipline to actually make themselves, you know, accountable and they run out. So that's really what the method is. And like I said earlier, we're going to talk about, does that method work for us? You know, what do we do and things of that nature. So to start all this off, Alex, do you think that you could do the cash stuffing method? Yeah, I think I could do it. Um, especially, I think it would have been a good method to use when I started. And I did use similar methods. One that's common um, alongside of that is uh, there's different methods people use for like saving. So like you save a dollar per day, like first day of the month, you save one dollar the next day, two and then three. And then so that's enough. There's different methods. And I think those are great methods for people that are trying to build that discipline, because that's going to be the most crucial thing to get you ahead is just having that discipline. And these methods are really on point to help those people that lack that personal financial discipline. Right. Yeah. And we've seen this. I mean, they call this cash stuff. And now, you know, Dave Ramsey called it the envelope method, you know, back in the 80s, 90s, yep. early 2000s. So same same aspect. But it's all about building, like you said, building the discipline. Um, most people, they can't, you know, they can't write down a budget and stick to it. So if you have all your money sitting there, and you only use physical dollars and then your budget ends when the money runs out, then it will make you more cognizant of the money that's there. Um, you know, people try to do it with debit cards and things of that nature. Uh, I'm going to be 100% honest. Uh, I went through the Dave Ramsey baby steps, but one thing I did not do is the envelope method. I mean, we tried to do it here in the house, but I'm when we was going through our journey of being in debt and things like that, we tried it. You know, my wife, she pulled out the envelopes and what have you. But the thing is, I'm all about efficiency. I'm not saying this cash stuff and method is wrong. I'm just saying that's just something that that I wasn't able to fully implement was because I'm all about efficiency. When you start talking about paying cash for everything, then, all right, now you got to pay cash. You can't go pay your rent in cash. Now you got to go get money orders. And then I'm just about efficiency and time. So I'm just, I just built the discipline of being able to budget using the envelope method. Now I did like add more bank accounts, you know, and I just start putting the money in those bank accounts. And once the money ran out, then it ran out because I just wanted to just use the digital space to get stuff done faster. I mean, I wanted to pay my mortgage, pay my rent or what have you. I just wanted to transfer the money over. But I, I literally had like about 15 bank accounts in my, you know, in my Rolodex of accounts. And it would just one would be for home, rent, groceries, blah, 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 blah. And then once that money ran out, I did it like that because just I want to be part of the digital age and get it done. But I see why 
most people can't do that because they'll start transferring money from one account to another account just to give them more money uh, <laughs> or to groceries or give more money to leisure spending and things of that nature. Um, but I wasn't, I wasn't of that help. I mean, I can, you know, I say blame it, but I can give credit to the military for instilling that discipline in me to just stay disciplined. Once you come up with a plan, execute that plan fully. But the envelope method, having cash sitting around and then allocating it, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not about to go get a money order and get a money order to go pay something or go get a cashier's check to pay something because that just seemed like it's wasted time in my life and time is something that I don't have. But there's nothing wrong with the method, but it's something that I could do. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too is because every time you got to get the cash, most people are getting like direct deposit. So you got to run to the bank, get cash. It just seems kind of inconvenient but if it helps those then that are implementing it in their lives and i guess that's all that matters but it's um it's a uh, similar to what i use like what you were saying too is i just have different bank accounts you know i use one account just for savings with a different financial institution and another financial institution for just bills and something of that sort so that's the way I organize it. Yeah, and it goes back to the thing that I always say. If you don't study history, you're bound to repeat it. Of course, on TikTok now, the millennials, they're thinking this is something new. It's nothing new. Like I mentioned before, Dave Ramsey had the envelope method. And that's going back to the 80s and 90s. He had that. I mean, the yeah, the envelope method. And people don't study history. So it's a new craze going on now, but it's something that's already been tried and true. That's worked plenty of times. I'm not saying it doesn't work because it does it for the people that don't have self-discipline it's the perfect avenue to do it i mean it's many ways you could do it you could do it envelopes you could do cash stuffing you could do having bank accounts set up but the key of it is just having that discipline you got to have that discipline to say this is how much money i have to spend this is what i'm spending i'm not going to go over and start swiping credit cards to, to spend over and things like that and it's to build self-discipline so whatever method works it works, but the key is setting a budget and sticking to it. No matter how you do it, it's setting a budget, sticking to it. If you stick to it, then everything else will go well. I mean, like we always talk about, you need to tell your money what to do because if you don't, your money will tell you what to do. I've seen it many of times. People will get a paycheck or get a lump sum of money, and then they have no plan for it. And then next thing you know, they just spent it. And you be like, where did money go? Oh, I don't know. It's because the money told them what to do. The money tell them what to do so much that they forget what even happened. And the next thing you know, they're sitting there on a Monday, still two more weeks to payday, and then they wonder what the hell happened and how the hell I'm going to get through the next two weeks. Absolutely. Now, with all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you're using a similar method, let us know down below. Share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.